Now that we have Babel in place, we'll improve our dev tooling a bit more to keep every contributor on sync. So for this, uh, we'll use three things. One is editor config. The second thing is ESLint. And the third thing we're going to use is Prettier. So in order to get started for now, we'll just use the simplest method by creating an editor config file. So this will let everyone be on sync when they're contributing. So here, I'll just copy in my editor configuration here. And you can configure this to your liking, but this is a really good starting point, which we can follow. So this will tell the text editor to follow some guidelines. For example, it will tell to indent using spaces. So this is a, a really good way to keep every contributor in sync so that we don't have a mix of tabs and spaces. And again, similarly, we have indent sizes, the format which has to be followed for end of line. And we tell the editor to trim trailing white spaces and insert a final new line. So this is the simplest way to do this. And the next thing we're going to do is introduce ESLint into the setup. So ESLint will help us a bit more by keeping everyone in sync. And it will help us enforce some good practices in our code and keep the code quality in check. So for ESLint, we can follow ESLint config Airbnb, which I'm going to do here because it's a really good starting point and helps us get a lot of value without writing much of configuration. So I'll go ahead and add ESLint dependency. So ESLint config Airbnb needs some dependencies to work with which they have mentioned in the docs and I'll add those here. So I'll add ESLint dev dependency as well as the, as the dependencies that are required by Airbnb. And the next thing which we'll have to configure is Babel ESLint. So we configured Babel for a code to work right now using Babel 7, but there's no way for ESLint to read that code. So Babel ESLint is a parser which will tell ESLint to follow this uh, Babel configuration and parse it correctly in order to lint it. So we can go ahead and add a dev dependency for Babel ESLint as well. Nice. So ESLint is installed. So we can go ahead and create a configuration file for ESLint. So usually you want this to be at the root of your project. So ESLint rc.js. And here we can provide some helpful rules, which will tell that editor to show these up in the console, as well as when you run your linting check. So these, this will help further keep, keep the code quality in check because everyone will be following a similar guideline. So I just pasted in my ESLint configuration file here. And as you can see, in the parser section, I have specified Babel ESLint, which I just installed as a dependency. And in the plugins, I specified React and Prettier. So Prettier will, will be configuring after this step. And ENV have specified browser and extended the Airbnb configuration as well as the Prettier configurations here. So this will let Prettier and ESLint work together very well. So I recommend this to add these, like it's, it makes really simple to work with these tools. So next I'll go ahead and install Prettier into the code base. So we can do that in a similar way, add a dev dependency for Prettier. So I'll go ahead and add it as a dev dependency. So Prettier is a really good way to keep your code in check because it will format it automatically. Automatically, You just have to have to hit like command S or control S to save your code and it does the formatting for you. So we'll configure our editor to do that as well. But right now I'll go ahead and integrate ESLint and Prettier. So for that, we'll just need this ESLint plugin Prettier and they have really good documentation on how you can configure this as well. But we have already added that to the ESLint configuration here. So I'll just go ahead and add that as a dev dependency. It's in plugin Prettier. 
so great now this is added so now that prettier is also installed i can go forward and create a configuration file for prettier as well so I'll, let's call it prettier rc.js so it works in a similar way as aslint configuration and they have some good number of options that we can provide but i'll just copy in my prettier configuration here for now that we're going to follow in this project so i'll just paste that in so you can all override these to your liking but we're just going to go up forward with this one for now so this is installed so now that ESLint and Prettier both are installed, we can add a script into our package.json to verify it's working. So I'll go ahead and add a lint script here. So let's call it lint. And here I'll just do ESLint dot. So let's see if it works. So in my terminal, I run yarn lint. And I've got some errors here. So let's see. So cannot find module ESLint config prettier. So we added that into the ESLint configuration, but we didn't install it as a dependency. So I'll just go ahead and add this as a dependency as well. Yarn ESLint config prettier. So I'll do yarn add hyphen D ESLint config prettier. Great, now that this is installed, let's see if the script work. So I'll just run yarn lint again. And great, so I've got some good number of messages here. So ESLint is linting all the files right now and it's showing the appropriate errors. So one thing we want ESLint to work over is only our source code. So we don't want it to work over the compiled code because that would be auto-generated so we can go forward and create an ESLint ignore file. So this works pretty similar to git ignore. It's just that ESLint ignores the file specified in this file. So I'll just add node modules and lib as well. So I'll hit save and now I'll run my lint command again. Great, so now we have got error only in the SRC file. So if you have the con uh, extension installed for a text editor, you can also see the errors as helpful messages in the code itself. So it really helps uh, keep everyone in check on what they're committing and putting into the code. So ESLint is working fine now and we can go forward and configure Prettier as well into the code. So I'll so one way to do that uh, really well in VS code is by creating a workspace settings. So you can hit command comma and go to your workspace settings, which will create a dot VS code slash settings.json file here. And here you can specify some rules that you want to overwrite for this particular project. So we want VS code to format the code on save. So we can find this configuration here, editor.format on save and keep it as true. So I've got some unable to write into workspace settings because the file is dirty. Okay, so I'll just close this and open it here. So I've opened the settings.json inside my folder and I'll just save this now. Great, so I have got editor.format on save as true here. So now this will tell Prettier to uh, reformat the code whenever we hit save. So as an example, if I remove the semicolon from here and hit command S, it should format it for us. Great, so it's working. So you can check by hitting equal to here. Let's say I move this to the next line. So if I hit command S now, it will format it accordingly. So now we are great to good to go with editor config, ESLint and Prettier. See you in the next video.